Okay guys, so just whilst I had the uh, camera out, I thought I'd just uh, share uh, this little piece of uh, hardware with you. Um, just because it's something a little bit different, I kind of um, had it out the uh, the computer, so I just thought I'd share it with you because it's, like I say, something a little bit different. Um, so I'm just going to put it out the actual uh, anti-stake bag. Let me just move that to the side there and see. Gotcha. So this is actually um, my old hard drive. Please excuse the dust, it has uh, just sort of come out of the machine and I haven't uh, decided it, uh, exactly quite what I'm going to do with it yet. So uh, this kind of technology is quite common now, it's now uh, 2016, um, but I actually purchased this in the, uh, the later part of 2010, so it's got quite a few years on it now. And this is actually one of the very first or decent sized um, SSDs that you could get. But the difference is that this is not a um, serial ATA um, device. It actually plugs into your PCI Express port. So it's just got the standard um, you know, PCI Express connector there. So the reason that I actually purchased this at the time is because obviously I wanted the performance benefits. It runs really fast. Um, you know, in terms of read and write, but it also um, had quite a bit of um, data storage on it as well. Um, it was purchased in 2010, and this is actually a 120 gig um, SSD uh, card. Um, when I was looking at the same sort of time, I think that a lot of the other SSDs, there was literally sort of 30 and 60 gig cards, so this was like four times the size um, and represented um, a much better overall kind of um, option. So I don't know if you can kind of see it there. So how they've done it is actually quite clever. I'm not too quite sure if the camera will focus enough. But you have these two um, uh, chips there. And then what it actually works is like a uh, RAID controller. So I don't know how they worked out the actual technology um, to do it. But I know that when it uh, plugs in after it comes up on your BIOS here, it comes up as like a RAID controller. And I believe it has two separate banks. So um, this is a, a 120 gig card, so I think it has two separate uh, memory banks of uh, 60 gigs each, and then it joins them via the, uh, these RAID controllers. I'm not too sure exactly how that works. But um, yeah, it's made by OCZ, and um, yeah, it's an OCZ Revo drive. This is the very one of the very first versions that they brought out. I think they also... Uh, they made some like later versions, but this is one of the first versions. Uh, I was just looking back through my um, eBuy records where I buy a lot of components from, and um, in 2010, it was purchased for £218. Um, as a comparison, I recently also purchased a uh, 240 gig uh, SSD made by um, Crucial. Uh, can't actually. I've actually lost the. Uh, uh, the actual card itself. Oh, if I just look at um, the actual site now, I can't remember how much I paid for the other one. It wasn't very, very much money. Um, but for a 120 gig SSD now, you're looking at 40 pounds um, with the same sort of um, specs. Um, according to, I can't find the actual original um, data sheets for it, but um, according to the actual um, sort of snippet of information I had, this has uh, read speeds of uh, 540 megs and a uh, write speed of 490. So. It's like five times faster than um, your regular sort of um, hard drive. Um, okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I just really wanted to give you a little glimpse into some of the things I dabble on. I could uh, maybe chat about this a bit longer, but I'm not really too sure uh, whether you guys are interested in it or anything like that. So I just wanted to show you because, um, like I say, it's um, kind of fairly common nowadays to have like an SSD or even like the um, uh, the ones with the PCI Express cards, but you know five, six years ago. It was uh, pretty rare, so just wanted to share that. Thanks for watching.